So today I'm going to be doing X Tricky number 25 and it's funny because in my last X Tricky I remember saying that I wanted to make these a monthly thing and I totally forgot to film it for like the past two months so I'm sorry about that. I actually just finished up filming a makeup tutorial as you guys could see. I mean it's very natural but you guys will see it's going to be like a back to school type of thing so yeah. And my hair is up just because like I just, I don't know, I want it to be up and out of my face. So don't judge. Anyways, like I said, I'm gonna be doing X Tricky number 25 today, and I pulled up many, many questions on Twitter and screenshotted them. You know, I tell you guys to ask me questions using hashtag X Tricky, and I'm gonna answer them for you. So let's hop right into this video. But before we hop right into the video, if you guys are not following me on my social media at Beauty Tricky on Twitter, Instagram, you know, and Snapchat, then make sure to go and do so. But yeah, now that we got that out of the way, let's hop into the Q and A. So. Let's get started. All right, so the first question is how many times did you bleach your hair to get it ombre? And if you guys don't know, I have like a blonde ombre in my hair. I'll take my hair down just so you guys can see quickly. So here's what it looks like. As you guys can see, it's very, very light. It's actually light that some of the parts of it are white, so that's crazy. But in total, I've bleached my hair, I think, four times because I bleached it once for balayage. I bleached it again for ombre. And then me and my Cosmo class put like a titanium color color in my hair, it didn't come out well, so we bleached it again to get the color out, and then I just went back to the salon and got it lighter, so that was my fourth time getting it bleached. So yeah, this is four bleaches in a row. So there you go. There's my hair with being bleached four times in a row. The next question is, do you prefer Snapchat or Instagram stories? And I prefer Snapchat stories. I do post an Instagram one sometimes, but Snapchat got my heart, so Snapchat stories. You guys should definitely add me on Snapchat if you guys want to see my stories. My current Snapchat username is actually Hey Chickies, but it will be Beauty Chicky in like a, a, like a couple weeks. Listen, I went through a lot of stuff with Snapchat because I had issues with the Beauty Chicky username and so they're helping me transfer stuff. But for now, the username is Hey Chickies. So go add that one. And that is my account. That will be my permanent account. But the username will not be permanent. So just add it for now though. It's called Hey Chickies. Just add it. Next question is how do your parents feel about you having a long distance boyfriend? Now this is a question that a lot of people have asked me. Um, just because, you know, it's kind of like, you know, are your parents understanding of it? It's like, because it's kind of like weird. Like, not everybody in the world is in a long distance relationship. However, my parents actually have been super supportive of the entire thing. Thank goodness. You know, they know that I do social media. They knew that my boyfriend does social media. So it's kind of like a thing. We met through that and we just kind of fell for each other at Playlist and all that stuff. So ever since, you know, they met him, they absolutely love him. And, you know, everything's been smooth sailing. Like, you know they let me visit him and he's allowed to come visit me and they don't really make a big fuss out of when I want to go see him because I pay for my own flights to go see him anyways he pays for his flights to come and see me so yeah so they don't really care you know they're really happy for me that he's a great guy and everything so they don't mind they're pretty supportive of it all the next question is what is the best thing that has happened for you starting YouTube and what is the worst thing so I don't know what the best thing is probably just like I don't know really what the best thing is probably just like me being able to interact with you guys and you know make quality content and just you know I really like the process of growing myself on YouTube and it's allowed me to you know attend all these cool events and you know you know, meet you chickies and there's a lot of great things that come from it um as for the worst thing that's come from it there's nothing really bad that's come from it except for slacking on other things sometimes I'll put YouTube before other things when I shouldn't and also the bullying because I do get bullied in school for my YouTube channel so hi if you're watching me I already did a tricky chat on bullying and kind of talked about it there but just go a little more in depth here not really in depth but it's like I don't really know just people like to bully me at my school for the stupidest reasons due to YouTube like they bully me because I don't wear makeup to school and I'm classified as a beauty guru on YouTube they literally bully me over that and then they also just like bully me just because like I'm just me. Like they just, they just come up with a random reasons to just start to just like just I don't know. They just make up reasons to start shitting on me for no reason. Have I ever done anything to these people? No, I haven't. But you know what? It's whatever. The next question is, do I have any advice for incoming? freshman and it's actually funny because I did do a freshman advice video on my channel last year for back to school I believe so if you guys want to check that out then I will link it um, here 
yeah. So if you guys are going into freshman year of school, I am going into my senior year. But if you guys are going to freshman year, you want some tips or anything, hit click right there and check out the video. There's a lot of great tips in it and stuff. So yeah. The next question is why don't you do meetups at Roosevelt Field Mall or something like that? And honestly, the reason I haven't done a meetup in so long at like a mall or something is because I just feel like nobody's gonna really show up. Like I feel like I'm not that big enough on YouTube to host a meetup that's gonna have over like, you know, at least like 50 people show up. Like, you know, even if there wasn't 50 people and there was like 10 people that showed up, I would still be thrilled to meet you guys. But I feel like it's like, I don't really know. I just feel like not a lot of people are gonna show up if I host like a meetup on Long Island. So, I mean, let me know in the comments below, guys. Like, if you guys are from Long Island or, like, from New York City or whatever, and you guys would be willing to come to a New York meetup, a Long Island meetup, then let me know in the comments below. But, you know, I don't know. This next girl asked, what stage are you on with your boyfriend? Are you out of the honeymoon stage yet? Because I talked about the stages of a relationship. No, I didn't talk about the stages of a relationship. I talked about the stages of a breakup before in a video. But this is about relationship-wise. Um, if you guys don't know, there's a couple different stages to a relationship. There's like, you know, where you're crushing and then they act you out and you're in like this honeymoon phase and then you get into the comfortable stage and then the arguing stage and all these different ones. And this girl's asking me like what I'm in with my boyfriend right now. And uh, we are out of the honeymoon phase, definitely. I mean, we're still lovey with each other and everything like that. It's not like all oh, the love is gone. You know, I still love him. He loves me. But we're not like writing each other like these long paragraphs before we go to bed like good night I love you so much you're my sugar plum like that's it. well number one we never use the word sugar plum anyways but you know we're not all that like kissy goo goo gaga stuff anymore it's kind of just like oh get a good sleep babe talk to you in the morning I love you good night like it's not anything and you know um I said we're on the comfortable stage just because you know not only that but because we're just comfortable around each other like I don't feel awkward doing anything in front of him and if you ask him I'll tell you the exact same thing like literally I could fart in front of him I could take a poop in front of him I can burp in his face and nothing is weird or nasty so yeah this is the phase of the relationship that you want to be in honestly it's a great phase the next question is are you excited about being a senior and yes I am because I just want to get out of high school that's all I literally cannot deal with the people in my school any longer than a year. So after this year is done, just <laughs> chow chow chickies. Alright, this next girl said call me and gave me her phone number, so let's call her. Hopefully this girl is out of school when I call her because I don't know if she started school yet or not. I hope I'm not calling her during class, but we'll see. Her username is actually beautychicky1. She's a fan page for me on Twitter, so that's lit. Hello? Hello? What's your name? Jackie. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, well, it's Christina, Beauty Chicky. I saw that you tweeted me your number for my ex, Chicky, and I thought I would just give you a call. Are you serious? Yeah, hey. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's crazy. <laughs> I thought it was just like a random person on my Twitter. I just like tweeted it. This happened to me before like three times. Really? No, I can promise yeah. you it's not. You'll be in the video and everything. I actually, like, said your username on Twitter, too, so hopefully you'll gain some followers oh, or something. That's so cool! <laughs> no problem. I'm gonna go, though, because I gotta finish up the okay. rest of the ex chicky. But it was nice talking to you. Yeah. All right, have a great day. Love you, Love you too. Bye! Thank you. Bye! <laughs> She was adorable. Anyways, we're going to move on. And actually, this next question is asked by her too, which is really funny. But it says, are you ever going to do online school? And I'm not, just because I'm going to finish up this year of high school. You know, I've never done online school. And I have one year left, so I'm just going to do this year, finish it up, and go to college. And that'll be that. I have wanted to do online school for the longest time. But honestly, now that I'm a senior, it's actually useless to do it, you know, my last year. Um, you know, I'm not judging anybody that does online school for their last year. Year, but it's like it's not really re a like necessity for me like I'm not moving anywhere I'm not traveling anywhere big so I don't really have to plus I take cosmetology so I don't want to like you know just do one year cosmetology and not do the second because if I didn't do the second I can't get my cosmo license and I really want my cosmo license so yeah so the next question 
is asked by her again. This girl is on a roll with questions. And it says, have you ever thought about going on tour? And honestly, I would love to go on tour. That would be awesome, you know? But the only thing with touring is that not a lot of beauty gurus like me go on tour because not a lot of beauty gurus have anything to like do on tour. Cause like a lot of social media people go on tour and they like sing or they do entertainment or like something like that or like skits. It's just like when tours are reaching out to social media people, they really just neglect the beauty community because you know, they're just like, oh, they're just beauty gurus. Like, they do makeup and play with their hair, and that's what they think of us. And honestly, there's a lot more to us. Like, I would love to go on tour, you know? I don't have to go on tour and do beauty things. I would love to go on tour just to be an entertainer. Um, that would be really awesome. As you guys can see, I try to throw comedy into my videos sometimes. I try to entertain you guys rather than just being, like, very straightforward and strict with just my beauty stuff, you know? I try to just, you know, do a little mix and stuff. Try to, like, grab you guys' attention. So... That's that, but I mean, if any tours are watching this video and you want me to go to your tour, then make sure to hit me up. So yeah, even though that probably will not happen, but yeah. The next question is, if you got a chance to partner with Kylie Cosmetics, what would you call your product? And I would call it Chicky, of course. And it would be either, well she already has like a bubblegum pink color out, so I'm not gonna do that. But I want her to come out with a lavender color, like so bad. Like I would love for her to come out with like a really pretty lavender color. So it would definitely be a color like that and it would just be called Chicky. So that concludes this X Chicky and I hope you guys enjoyed. And let's move on to the outro I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and say subscribe to my channel. I'll upload every Tuesday and Friday at 6 p.m. East. So if you enjoyed this video, then you will enjoy the rest of my videos. So stay subscribed to my channel. If you guys didn't pick up on that, long story short, subscribe to me. And if you guys are interested in buying anything from my merchandise line, you know, hashtag Chicky Merch. We got Beauty Chickies hats, shirts, sweaters, all that stuff. Make sure to click the annotation on the screen or go to the link below. If you would like to check out my newest weekly vlog, then you could click right next to me. And if you guys aren't already following me on my social media, you know, Beauty Chicky on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, you now. I have an itch on my titty. Uh, then make sure to go follow me on all those and, um, yeah. But that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed for the hundredth time. So yeah. So that being said, ciao, ciao, chickies.